liberty to us move wrestling by blood. The following contest is an unsanctioned match set for one fall. Introducing first, Chucky. Guys, tonight we have an unsanctioned match. We're not responsible for what goes on. That's why Chucky's in a neck brace and he's wrestling. And his opponent, Mr. Munch. Here comes Mr. Munch, Chucky's former friend now. One of the members of the Chuck E. Cheese band. He, he finally snapped. After all the bullying and, and being a bad friend that Chucky did, Mr. Munch snapped. Where is the guy? Wait, Phyllis, turn around. Oh, no. It's Mr. Munch with Helen Hitty in his arms. Guys, let this be a lesson to never bully your friends. That's right. This man went down a psychological path. Mr. Munch went crazy. He kidnapped poor Helen Hitty, who he had... I crush on all this time. Shh, Richard, shush, shush, I love you. <laughs> all the years of abuse that Chucky has put Mr. Munch through has led him to, to become this, this uncaged animal. Well, tonight, Chucky has vowed to teach his former friend a lesson. And many fans have lost all respect for Chucky <laughs> after he rejected Jeez, Helen Henney when she confessed his love to him. And now Helen's been kidnapped by Mr. Munch, who had a crush on her all this time. Mr. Munch is jealous for sure. And we're going to remind you guys one more time. We are not responsible for anything that happens once this bell rings. General Manager said this is unsanctioned. <laughs> Chucky! Oh, Chucky with the solid steel crunch. That's what he had when he was injured. What the? Oh, he's going out. Mr. Munch is no selling it. What? Chucky is already injured. The referee can't do anything about this. Mr. Munch now. Oh, oh slam. Chucky, Chucky. This is heartbreaking to watch. It was once a team, a friendship, practically a family. It's now, it's now all gone. Chucky was already injured. Now he's definitely injured. We might not see him for a while after this. Now, the Chucky e. Cheese token, the legacy of the original Chucky e. Cheese, the SMF Wrestling Hall of Famer, the man who he's, this team wanted to respect. Mr. Munch has stated that he's going to do a better job carrying on the legacy of the original Chucky e. Cheese. Oh, no! <gasps> we love Chuck E. Cheese, don't we? <laughs> I love you. Poor Helen Henny is trapped by this uncaged animal. Oh, tell her you're sorry, Chucky. Tell her you're sorry for breaking her heart. Tell her, my princess, you'll never do it again. <laughs> Why did the general managers make this unsanctioned? There's nothing we can do. We're not responsible for this beating. Oh my goodness, that was a Chucky Plex back in the ring. Shades of the original. Oh guys, Chucky brought this beating upon himself. If he's paralyzed after this, it's his own fault. No, with the token in the middle of the ring. Chucky Cheese, I'm doing this for you, buddy. No, no. Oh my goodness, a pilot driver position. He's already got a broken neck. Don't do it, man. Wait, wait, it's Jasper, another team Chucky Cheese friend. And the middle man is here, Jasper Jones. Chucky, Chucky, please, can you hear me? Chucky, tell Munch you're sorry, please. Do it for Chuck E. Cheese, please. Tell him you're sorry. Get up, man, get up. Well, you gotta respect Jasper for trying to keep his friends in check. Is Chucky gonna apologize? <coughs> oh! Chucky slapped right to Mr. Munch! <laughs> oh, no! No! Mr. Munch, pepperoni power driver! Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no! Mr. Munch is taking the power driver city! Oh, Mr. Munch, no! Oh, powerbomb on the heart! Okay, Venice, I've had enough. Please, somebody have some human decency and help poor Chucky. Mr. Mocho, grabbing at the ring. What is he going to do? Is he going under it? Oh, oh, oh Mr. Munch has picked up the ring and... Oh, oh! As that ring weighs like a thousand pounds. Chucky's head is on it. His head is off. He, he has no head. Guys, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's going to injury. Okay, guys, this is too far. He has a death wish. God, can somebody just call the cops? This has gone too far. What? 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 Oh, my goodness. Ah! Mr. Wentz has broken one of our protective walls. Protective barricade. Oh, my goodness. What the hell? Ah! 
Nope, that is too far. Guys, somebody please, please stop this madman. Well, fellas, it is safe to say that this match is indeed over. Chucky is now underneath one of our protective walls. Those things weigh over 20,000 pounds. I hate to say this, but an unsanctioned match was sitting, was confirmed by the general managers. I mean, this was, this is exactly what they asked for. This is definitely no laughing matter right now. We have the ambulance here. Guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and cut to commercial break, uh. This is, this is too much. I'll see you guys back in a minute. Whoa! Get off of me! Security could not keep Mr. Munch down! What? What? Gas! Gas! Mr. Munch! Mr. Munch is crazy! I'm a man! He's crazy! He jumps on the top of the barricade! Mr. Munch, no, no! No! Oh, Guys, are there even enough officials to get Mr. Munch away from this right now? Guys, Chucky, God, this is not good, this is not good. Guys, can we please cut the commercial break? Yeah, we will. This is, this is a dark day for us, my wrestling history. Oh my goodness, I have chills. Well, we'd like to lighten the mood here. Um, we do have an update on Chucky. He was rushed to the hospital and uh, we'll have more updates on him soon. But the show must go on, isn't that right, guys? That's right, and tonight we, we would like to thank, literally... The platform that made us who we are today, YouTube. Because SMF Wrestling has earned the YouTube play button lamp that they give out to only certain YouTubers. And, and we would like to thank you guys for sending us this lamp. And, and we're going to show you some footage from earlier from our, our general managers getting this great award. And uh, while that happens, we're going to attempt to rebuild this arena so we can continue this show here tonight. So let's watch this clip. Yeah, hey, Stephanie, it's here. Our friends at YouTube. They gave us an award! Wow, isn't it beautiful? We want to say thank you to YouTube for sending this to us, but also thank you to the fans of SMF Wrestling who- Bruh, hold on just one minute. Why are our brain dead general managers trying to take credit for this YouTube award? Do you know that I'm literally the YouTube champion? And isn't it funny how the moment that Greg Hefley wins the YouTube title, we get sent this award from YouTube themselves? Ha! You two are unqualified to be general managers, and you're definitely unqualified to say thank you for this award. In fact, this is my award. I'm carrying SMF Wrestling right now. I'm going to take this home. Hey, Holly, tell the frogs to put this award in the back of our private jet, okay? Huh. Hold on just one second. Greg Hefley, are you really trying to take credit for this YouTube award? We earned this because of our incredible roster, not some narcissistic jerk like you. Bro, AJ Styles is trying to tell me that I didn't earn this award. Dude, you've been irrelevant for the past like six years, bro. Listen, Greg, if you want to talk about numbers on paper, I demolish you. In fact, the Royal Rumble would have got one million views. Who won that, huh? It was me, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Now, this award belongs to the people and the roster, not you. And a matter of fact, tonight... Not only am I going to make sure that you don't take this award home, but I'm going to take home that YouTube championship. You watch your back, Greg. Oh, yeah, right. AJ Styles is not going to be champion in 2024. <laughs> it's so stupid. You know what? I'll, I'll come back for this award after I retain my title. This is so stupid. The Molly Contest is a triple threat match set for one fall. And it is for the YouTube Championship! It's Houston first, one of the challengers, the Viper, Randy Orton! Guys, tonight Randy Orton is going to get his rematch. He was the former YouTube champion, and he, of course, wants his rematch. I'm not surprised. And introducing next in this match, the Phenomenal AJ! Styles! Well, Phyllis, Greg Heffy is trying to take credit for this award. But yeah, the rumble that AJ Styles did win did get a, a million views. So AJ Styles definitely contributed a lot to SMF Wrestling's growth over the years. And introducing next, he is the YouTube Champion, Greg! Oh, my gosh, how fitting is it for the YouTube champion to take credit for us earning this YouTube award? Well, fellas, we know Esmith Wrestling's been in the big leagues way before Greg Hefley 
even made his debut here in SMF Wrestling, but that's besides the point. Tonight, he is defending that title in a triple threat match that he protested for. But tonight, he created his own triple threat match. This is Greg Hefley's triple threat rules, which is basically the same as a one-on-one -on -one match. So no low blowing, no interferences, or else you're, you are disqualified and eliminated from this match. Most people hate Greg Hefley, but you cannot deny that he is speaking facts. If a triple threat is a no disqualification, then why doesn't Greg just come in there and low blow his opponents and get his friends to come jump his opponent? No, Greg Hefley is totally right. Tonight, we are gonna see the first ever fair triple threat match anything does not go here tonight this match could end my count out yes there are still count outs in this match but greg heffley rolls to the outside immediately typical greg heffley rolling onto the outside we're second out oh aj styles though taking out the viper ow through the viper and aj styles are going back and forth right now ow pele kicked to randy orton aj styles came to win the referee now is not going to count out greg why two Back in the ring, the Viper and the Phenomenal One are still going back and forth. Oh, a slam from Randy Orton. Right now, Greg going to get back in. Oh, a cheap shot to Orton. Quickly back to the outside after that cheap shot. Greg Hefley has some kind of strategy plan. Of course he does. He's a genius. But Randy Orton is angry, though. You got an angry Viper after you, Greg. And oh, drop kick for the Phenomenal One. And now, guys, AJ Styles earned his title match a while ago. Oh, but he never technically got it, but now he's sent to the outside. And now Greg Hefley's open. He's going to allow Randy Orton to do it. He doesn't realize that if Randy hits him with that, he's going to get disqualified and eliminated from this match. And AJ Styles and Randy Orton are both in-ring veterans. They've been in this business for decades. And you got to wonder, how are they going to adapt to Greg Hefley's triple threat rules? Greg Hefley is the master of mind games. Tonight, he made this match so nobody can complain when he retains the title. Well, that's not win. That's a big if. If. Greg Hefley can retain here tonight. And now Greg Hefley getting to the ropes and the referee has to break this up because this is a normal match. This is a triple threat match with normal rules. Here comes the angered Viper. Oh, Greg Hefley sends him to the ropes. Here comes the cause line. Oh, big boot from the Viper. Well, it doesn't matter what the rules are. Randy Orton will always be Randy Orton, the Viper. Randy's been waiting a long time to get his rematch with Greg and oh, Randy Orton just spoiled Styles' plan. And entering veterans like Randy Orton and AJ Styles are always aware of their surroundings. Where's the OC? Yes. I don't think the OC got the memo. If they hurt Randy Orton, AJ Styles is disqualified. But I certainly do not like Greg Hefley, but I guess that does mean we do get a fair triple threat match, I guess. See, if you just stop, you know, complaining about everything, you'd realize that Greg Hefley is right. Randy Orton, oh, and taking off Styles. Oh, drop kick from the champion, Greg. Uh, Greg Hefley is a semi-veteran in his own right, but he is not as old as Randy Orton and AJ Styles. Well, the youngest guy in this match happens to be the YouTube champion. Oh, splash right to Orton. Splash to Styles. Greg Hefley is actually in control. Genius man this is. Greg Hefley is a generational talent, and he is actually one of very few Grand Slam champions in SMF Wrestling. He has held every championship that there is to hold here in SMF Wrestling. No. AJ Styles knows that the days on his career are numbered. That's why this match is a must win for AJ Styles. Oh, now AJ's fighting back like his career is on the line, because it very well could be. I know AJ Styles is an in-ring mastermind as well. He's picking up Greg. Hefley is in big trouble right now. Oh, it's Owen. The Viper! Greg Hefley, no! It's time to rain. It could come to an end. Randy Orton's back in the ring. Over the past few months, AJ Styles and Greg Hefley have both been enemies of Randy Orton. What is he doing? I guess the Viper, what? With both of his enemies here. Ah, oh, double draping DDT. That is vintage Randy Orton. Is Orton going to become a two-time YouTube champion? One, two. Ah, oh, Styles out of it. Too, though. He's not going to pin Greg. Uh, Greg wants to be outside wisely. Well, we know that Randy Orton is not somebody who likes to mess around. I think Greg Heffy's gotten on Orton's last nerve. Oh, the, the steel steps. Randy, you better put those down. Randy Orton better get himself disqualified. He's falling into his old habits right now. You cannot do that. Oh, well, rightfully so. How fair is that to hit a guy with solid steel steps? Oh, Randy, no. Oh, Randy using the steps to do a jumping shoulder tackle. That's a clever way to not break the rules. The Viper wants to be the face of YouTube. Ah, oh, slam onto the ramp. No, Greg's back might be broken. The referee's about to start his 10 count. Wait, what? Styles! Styles with a jumping clothesline to the back of the neck of the Viper. It looks like Randy's the one who's hurt. Who's Styles back in? Styles is going to win. Check right to the Viper. 
And it's AJ Styles. What an ending. Oh, my goodness. Styles Clash. No. Randy Orton, no. Randy Orton, the Viper, is trying to fight out of the Styles. Styles, they pressure Styles off here. They close line, no. Ah, oh, another pay like cake. Goes off the ropes here. Oh, jumping close line off the ropes in the cover. One, two. Oh, barely he kicked out of it, though. I thought AJ might have become a two-time YouTube champion himself. Let's not forget, he was one of the first YouTube champions. It was the second. Well, the phenomenal one sees. He has the Viper down. Not many men can say that they have the Viper's phone number, but AJ Styles might be the one man who can do it. He's going to go for another Styles Clash. It's in an oh, Styles Clash here. Oh, Greg, no. One, two. Oh, Styles kicked out of it. Being even better than he is. That was a close one. Craig almost retained. But when it comes to outsmarting rookies, Greg Heffy's got that always. But here's the thing. Greg Heffy always struggles to outsmart the veterans like AJ Styles and Randy Orton. I hope you're not looking to put Styles back on the ropes here. Oh, wait. Styles, though. Close line. And I'm maneuvered by Styles. Well, both men are down. AJ Styles is actually the last man standing right now. He's pushing off Orton. And now I'm going to win Greg on his shoulders. Oh, my goodness. Greg's spine is broken. One, two. Oh, thank goodness. Greg Heffley still saves his title reign. I thought that might have been it. Second, I don't think Randy Orton likes Styles. Pushed him out of the ring here. Oh, the Viper not picking up Styles. Oh, another suplex right to the spot of AJ Styles. The Viper definitely took out the phenomenal one for the time being. And the fans back in the ring. Randy Orton has that tank count starting on him. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, Randy gets back in. Here comes Greg. Oh, clothesline now. Clothesline just smacked Greg to another dimension. And now Randy is on the outside continuing his assault to AJ Styles. Well, it's a smart strategy to take out one member so he won't interfere for the other guy. But Randy Owen, what are you thinking about here? That is a award. YouTube sent us that. Don't do anything you're going to regret. What the? Oh, Randy Owen, no. The Styles on our award. Oh, there's the vintage Randy Orton DDT with the leverage from our YouTube award. And now the referee is going to count out both Orton and Styles. Oh, our Orton, both Styles back in the ring. Well, the count is broken, and now Greg is knocked out. Oh, no, Randy Orton is hearing those voices. Styles, whatever you do, do not get up right now. Here comes the RKO. What the hell? Is Syndrome going to light our play button on fire? Syndrome's a menace. He can't do that. Oh, Randy Orton, for the love of the game, is taking out Syndrome. He was about to destroy our award. We know Syndrome hates the general managers when we know that he wanted to destroy all their belongings. Wait, guys, we need to be careful here because Randy Orton could get disqualified in this match. That's why no interferences are allowed in this triple threat match with rules. Wait, Syndrome now is attacking security. Why is he out here? I don't know why, because Syndrome wanted to destroy the play button. And the Viper is defending SMF Wrestling's legacy. So still step Syndrome is not in this match. Oh! Greg Heffley just took a bullet for Syndrome. Greg is knocked out. No, he's not. Randy Orton hesitated. He knew not to do that. Well, whether he hesitated or not, the referee saw it. Randy Orton just hit Greg with the steel steps. He's disqualified. Oh, and with that, Randy Orton is eliminated from this match. It is now Styles and Greg one-on-one. -on -one. That was a genius move by Greg Heffley. He sacrificed himself to get hit with the steel steps. Now Randy can't win this match at all. Well, Randy is trying to get back into this match somehow. Oh, no, no, that is not legal in this match. You cannot do that. Well, guys, the referee's back is turned. Come on, referee, get back in. Do your job. Oh, oh my goodness, no, did Greg just steal it? To retain one. What the? Kurt Angle, our general manager. Hey, don't count. He's a kid. Oh, and you gotta love this. The general manager, the man in charge, Kurt Angle, just interfered in this match. Greg's putting hands on him. Greg, don't do anything. You're gonna regret. He's technically the boss. This is unprofessional for a general manager, a person in charge, to get involved in this title match. Look at the stuff. Oh, phenomenal form from AJ. One, two, three. <laughs> what? Who is your winner? And the new YouTube champion, AJ Styles. That is the phenomenal one has done it. He has now become a two-time YouTube champion. Wow! Greg Effie's legendary reign is over. Well, you can say Greg Effie wanted his triple threat match. His match just came back to bite him. He just costed himself the YouTube title. Now Kurt Angle interfered. He should be fired, like Greg said. He just interfered in the match. He's an official. Once again, thank you to YouTube for sending us this play button lamp award. And YouTube, we are proud to say your champion is phenomenal. 
Yes, my new golden boy, Scooby-Doo. Tonight is your night to win the world championship. And then we will have all the gold once again. I, mean, I want to be champion and all, but finish is really tough. What if I lose? My golden boy, you know you have the wise man by your side. You're not going to lose, especially with some extra motivation from Vanessa. Where is Vanessa? Oh, last time I saw her, she was tied up. Hey, shh, say it, don't, don't say that out loud. I don't need people knowing that I tie her up. It's just hard to get her under control. Well, somebody find her and untie her. She needs to kiss her golden boy. Uh, boss, I think I found her. Huh. Vanessa! Vanessa, what are you doing with that extremely large pocket knife in your hand? Why aren't you tied up? Luckily, my dad always said to carry a pocket knife. Now, you, you stay back, okay? I don't work for you anymore. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Party guards! Chase her! I can't lose her! Get back here, Vanessa! Okay, okay, guys, do not, do not panic. Everything's okay. Scooby, I promise your girlfriend will be back by the main event tonight to motivate you. Okay, it's okay. The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, Dr. Doofusmurch! Fellas, Dr. Doofusmurch returns to the ring here tonight, and this could be his last. His career is on the line. You know, that's definitely not good for Dr. Doofusmurch fans, especially against his, his opponent here tonight, which has a, a reputation of ending careers. And his opponent, accompanied by Scarlet, he is carrying Cross. Definitely the most controversial man in SMF wrestling. <laughs> he gets Phineas a run for his money. In terms of controversy, Karrion Cross is here right now. Now he was gonna be the world champion last pay per view. He challenged our world champion Phineas. And Dr. Dubis Mertz, an old rival of Karrion Cross's, still has a score to settle. But tonight, Dubis Mertz said that if Doof beats Cross, then Cross can no longer end people's careers. This has been a match almost a year in the making after Karrion Cross nearly ended Dubis Mertz's career due to injury. Cross honestly did not think he would see Doof ever again, but here he is, back for his revenge in the middle of this heated storyline. Head the match stars, and guys, Karrion has a long list of victims who he's retired. That list includes Mr. Incredible, Shrek, Tree Rex, and now, could it be Dr. Dubit's merch? Don't forget about Frozone, and of course, Wario and Waluigi fell to the AOP. But Dubit's merch tonight, not only once, revenge for Karrion Cross injuring him, but Dubit's merch wants Karrion Cross to never be able to put somebody's career on the line ever again with a win here tonight. This right here is the definition of a grudge match right now. These two men, Hate each other with a passion. Now, usually Karen Cross comes out here with the AOP and Paul Ellering, but Cross told them to, to stay home here tonight because I don't think Karen Cross takes Dubis Mertz very seriously. And Cross now not picking up Dubis Mertz the strength. Uh oh, wait a second. The dead dog Dubis Mertz now off the ropes. Oh! Dubis Mertz is an ending veteran himself. He has been champion in his career. Oh, suplex! Oh my goodness, Dr. Dubis Mertz wants to end it now. One, two. Now Cross barely kicked out of it. Now, Duke can stay on the offense, but wisely carrying Cross to the outside. And guys, on top of this rivalry with Karrion Cross, Dr. Doofensmurtz has to deal with Paul Heyman basically kidnapping his daughter, Vanessa Doofensmurtz. And Dr. Doof said that he will stop at nothing to save Vanessa from Heyman's hands. But if Karrion Cross ends Doof's career tonight, Doof can no longer help Vanessa. Oh my goodness, right now, Scarlet, the seductive Scarlet who has costed many men their match against Karrion Cross. I don't want to dig too much into, into Duke's personal life, but Dubis Mertz is a single father with Vanessa. And Dubis Mertz is definitely single. His wife left him because he's so evil. Oh, Dubis Mertz had marriage issues, but Karrion Cross and Scarlet have no issues. They are a dangerous power couple. And a referee now trying to get Karrion Cross to throw Duke back in the ring and get this match to continue. Well, we know that Karrion Cross is a killer at heart. And even though he wants to win his matches, he wants to win championships, I think he definitely takes some kind of weird pleasure in the injuring people. Oh, man, Dupin Smurts, he's been in this company for a long time. He's a veteran. I don't know how many more years he has left in his career. It might be ending now because, because Duke might lose the cross and lose his career. 
goodness, we're going to add insult to injury. If Karrion Cross can beat Doofenshmirtz here tonight, not only will he lose his career, but he might injure him for the rest of his life outside of wrestling. So far, the numbers game has caught up to Dr. Doofenshmirtz. He is a lone wolf here tonight. That's the cross jacket. This is the move that has passed out so many superstars and ended their careers. Oh, Doofenshmirtz though with a nice move. Just back cross into the corner. And right there is that veteran instinct by Doof. Or just as angry as Doofenshmirtz is though. Karrion Cross even more angry. Oh, double knees in the corner. Oh, Cross is now knocked silly. Oh, Doof back up. And a, oh, a close line though. And a short attack on Dr. Doofenshmirtz is on the comeback. Double axe handle off the middle rope. Dr. Doofenshmirtz is in control of the career killer. Oh, shoot, no, Scarlet. Scarlet is on the apron right now. Doofenshmirtz do not get distracted. I know Duke has quite the personality. I think if his daughter wasn't kidnapped, he'd be making a move right now. Well, the referee right now trying to take care of Scarlet. Uh oh, 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 suplex right to the mat. Karrion Cross wants to end it. Is Duke going to retire? One, two. Oh, my goodness. We were a fraction of a second away from Duke and Smith losing his great career. Well, we know Karrion Cross has a huge list of victims. He is obsessed with adding more people to his list of victims. Dr. Dukesburg could be the next one to join the list of retirements. Here comes a hammer by Cross. Wait, no, wait. Roll up. One, two. Oh, the veteran instinct. Nice move. It was not a three, but Duke very well could have stole it. Oh, back up was there. And you got to think that Dukesburg has been training for his comeback. A nice power slam in the middle of the ring. One, two. Oh, my goodness, Cross. Cross kicked out of it. Guys, if Duke would have won, Cross could have never, ever have a stipulation where he can retire somebody ever again. Duke is first right now, wanting to do a favor for the entire roster. No one's going to worry about Cross anymore. Oh, just kidding. Oh, the clothesline out of nowhere. But carrying Cross falls, he might still be hurt. This match is pretty even. Now, Karrion Cross and Scarlet are into some weird things right now. Karrion Cross is harvesting the energy from Scarlet to take out Doofus Merch in his career tonight. Karrion Cross loves to hold grudges. Over a year ago, Doofus Merch costed Cross a world championship opportunity, and now is Doofus Merch going to pay for it? There's the cross jacket once again. No, oh, if Doofus Merch fades, he loses his career. Oh, there's a one. No, there's a two. Now I'm going to throw Oh, there's a three. Wait, hold up. One, two, wow. Wait a second. The ref counted that pinfall. I think Duke might have actually faded, but he landed with his shoulders going down. Karrion Cross's shoulders were down. Cross is mad. Karrion Cross now. Oh, Karrion Cross knows he just had the match won. Well, that's it. Dearest Merce is unconscious. One, two, three. No. Do what's worse, can't do. Dubis Merce has got too much on the line to lose his career right now. And as determined Dubis Merce is, is he going to fall for Scarlet, a seductive one? Hey, Vanessa, get back here! What the hell? That's Vanessa! Guys, can somebody get security? It's Paul Heyman and his bodyguards surrounding Vanessa. We got a match going on. What the hell? Hey, oh, oh, roll up! One, two, three! He got him! The referee counts to three! There is your winner, Dr. Dubis Merce! Fellas, Karen Cross can never put someone's career on the line again. The Dr. Jewish Bush, what? Oh, top rope takes out the bodyguards. A one-man wrecking crew is here, and Dufus Bush is reunited with his daughter, Vanessa. As I, I, I was hearing rumors that Vanessa was treated poorly backstage by Paul Heyman. Father and daughter are reunited, and they're getting out of here. Oh, my goodness. Did Vanessa just escape from Paul Heyman? Well, she's, a, she's under contract. She's going to be in trouble with Paul Heyman. No! No! Excuse me. Kurt, Stephanie. Um, many fans are saying that it was controversial that you interfered in Greg Hefley's match and you costed him the title since you're the general manager. Um, what's your response to this criticism? Well, Stephanie and I have been talking and we're the ones in charge. We're the bosses. Greg Hefley is trying to disrespect us. He got what he deserved. Now, hopefully... This will straighten Greg and Holly out for the future so they can stop doing all this nonsense. Wait, who's that? Shandy, what are you doing here? You're, you're injured. You're, you're supposed to be at the doctor's recovering. You gotta leave. <laughs> no injury is gonna put me down. Stephanie, you know dang well. I was supposed to be getting my woman's title rematch here tonight, but Nia Jax had to injure me or whatever. Listen, if you can book Chucky at an unsanctioned match, you can book me in a match. Come on, Stephanie. Okay, bodyguards, don't panic. I always have a plan. Everything's under control. Shady, stop! Shady! Shady, no! Shady! Shady, you can't wrestle until you're clear. Get out of here. Hey, uh, Mr. Heyman, uh, Scooby-Doo's match is next. You guys gotta get out there. Um, 
Okay. Ah, uh, guys, I'll call you when I need you. Okay. And it's gonna be okay. The Bike Contest is your main event set for one fall. And it's for the Blue Belt World Championship. Which is the first. He is the Blue Belt World Champion. This man used to be the self-proclaimed greatest of all time, but now most people agree this man is our world champion. He is the GOAT. On top of that, this man is now the king of controversy. He lives rent-free in a lot of people's heads all over the internet. But tonight, our fighting champion Phineas never backs down from a fight. Even though Paul Heyman is sketchy and shady, he accepted Heyman's challenge tonight. <laughs> And his opponent, accompanied by Paul Heyman, Hollywood, Scooby, Doo! This is heartbreaking to see Scooby Doo like this. That's right, Phil. Scooby Doo used to be a fan favorite. Everybody loved him, but he went to the dark side. He signed a contract with Paul Heyman because he, <laughs> deep down inside, he always dreamt of being a world champion. And of course, Paul Heyman promised him that. Heyman's got a great track record, but we cannot agree with Paul Heyman. He's nasty and shady. That's right, but tonight, Phineas wants to put it in to get another Paul Heyman guy. The most prestigious prize in all the best man wrestling, the Blue Belt World Championship on the line tonight in the main event. Now, Phineas I I spent a long time going through war with Paul Heyman to defeat Heyman's old golden boy, Hollywood Ferb. Now, Scooby-Doo is here with the Hollywood name is tonight gonna be the return of Heyman. The bell rings right now, fellas. Not only is Phineas defending the title for himself, but he's defending it against Paul Heyman for the entire SMF Wrestling locker room and fans. Oh, well guys, let's not forget that. Before becoming a Paul Heyman guy, Scooby-Doo was just another underdog, no pun intended. What a nice suplex and Scooby rolls to the outside. And the instructions of Paul Heyman, this is why Paul Heyman had many clients be champion. Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Ferb, and now Scooby-Doo. Even Shayna Baszler currently has it. Even Evan and Jarrell are currently tag champions. Oh my Hollywood, Scooby-Doo! <laughs> this guy shut up. I'm the champion! There you go, that's a crowd reaction. Well, Paul Heyman has mind games. Phineas has got mind games of his own. Oh, wait a second. And Scooby-Doo needs to get back in the ring. He might lose by count out. Four, two, three. Four! Scooby-Doo getting back in the ring right now! Phineas has control of them! Once again though, Hollywood Scooby-Doo to the outside! This is the genius structure of Paul Heyman's plans coming into effect right now! Hollywood Scooby-Doo! Well, if you notice, Phineas right now is not rushing to the outside. He's not going to let the emotions get the best of him. Phineas is a true Grand Slam champion. Not only has he, has he held every title at least once, but he, he's also a two-time Money in the Bank winner. But even though he is in a, a great career right now, he's having the run of a lifetime. Oh, oh, Scooby! And as good as Phineas is, Scooby-Doo has Paul Heyman's wisdom. Uh, oh, oh! Scooby-Doo now taking advantage of the champion in the corner. Is this finally going to be Scooby's time to win the title? It would be a shame. Splash up in the corner. Oh my goodness, Phineas just flung him to the top. Oh, a kick away. The only one Scooby-Doo off the ropes. Superplex. Just like that, Phineas. Phineas just takes advantage of Scooby-Doo being clumsy and not as experienced. Scooby-Doo is light work to Phineas right now. Scooby-Doo is supposed to be Hollywood Ferb's replacement right now. He's not doing too hot. Oh, now tying up against the ropes. Now Phineas knows he could have easily beaten Scooby-Doo right there, but he has to stick it to Paul Heyman, shoving it in his face that he's better than Scooby. You guys better watch out because all that, all that criticism might go to Scooby's head. Scooby's got something to prove here tonight. Suplex in the back of Scooby's head. And a, oh, running knee right to Scooby. Ah, oh, DDT. And then Phineas is on fire with the backstabber. There's chain of moves. Is this, is this enough to end Hollywood Scooby Doo? He just wants to make sure that Paul Heyman is watching with another slam right to the face. And oh, there's another backstabber for good measures. And now, is he gonna retain? One, two. Oh, I thought that was it, no. He got the shoulder up. 
right before the ref hit the counter. Up three. Guys, Phineas might have been too cocky. Maybe he's got a little more of a challenge than he thought. Well, Phyllis, Paul Heyman is not in his normal mindset here tonight. I've been hearing a lot of rumors that backstage there is chaos with the bodyguards. I just heard that Shayna Baszler have, has left the building. With Vanessa gone and Shayna gone, Heyman is down two bodyguards, especially female bodyguards, who Phineas can't attack. Well, right now back in the ring, Phineas is just playing with his food. He is just slingshotting Scooby across all four corners of the ring right now. Phineas is sending a message right to Paul Heyman. You can bring in whoever you want. Turn anybody into a Hollywood man. Phineas is still going to beat them all. There's a slam. Now it's the match over. One, two. No, Scooby still has it though. The fellas, Scooby is showing him more of a fight than you thought. And now he's back outside the ring. Guys, strip away the, the Hollywood glasses and the jacket. Ship away Paul Heyman. Before this, Scooby-Doo was not the best in the world by any means. But I have learned never to doubt Paul Heyman. Clearly, Heyman saw something in Scooby-Doo. Heyman seems to be re regretting it right now. He is getting destroyed by Phineas. This is that enough. No, I know Heyman now being Scooby's shield. Oh, a shove right to Heyman. You're a real piece of trash. You know that, Paul? My goodness, I have, I have no doubt that Phineas still wants Paul Heyman to be destroyed and tortured for the rest of his life after what Heyman did to Phineas' brother, Ferb, for the past almost two years. Oh, no, Phineas, though, aggressively throwing Scooby back in the ring. Oh, and another shove to Heyman. Oh, he spits on him. He wants him to sign of disrespect right to Paul Heyman. Oh, one, one, two. Oh, my goodness. Scooby-Doo almost just stole the title. He rolled him up. Not even Phineas expected that. And now Scooby is taking it to Phineas. Oh, ooh, referee, do something. One, two, three, four. Get off him, Scooby. Get off him. Referee now separating Scooby. And now Scooby's got that fire. And Scooby-Doo right back on the assault. Oh, Phineas aggressively shoving him off. Scooby back up. No, Scooby now. Oh, splash for the Phineas. And Phineas catches him. Whoa, Scooby-Doo breaks free. Oh, no, Phineas going face first in the turnbuckle. Once again, Scooby-Doo is actually showing that aggression that he got in him. And fellas, this is beyond Paul Heyman. Scooby-Doo has always wanted to be champion. He's going to get it, even if he turns his back on all of his fans. All right, Phineas, it's time to start messing around. Whoa, Paul Heyman now is looking up the hand of Scooby. This is your golden boy. Hollywood Scooby-Doo, look at him. Admire him. Phineas, though. Oh, a slap right to the face of the wise man. Paul Heyman just got smacked. Hey, it's definitely clear that Phineas hates Paul Heyman more than he, than he hates Scooby-Doo right now. But, he, but he's going to stop. He's going to focus. Oh, back elbow's there. As I said, Phineas, you got to focus. Scooby-Doo now. Oh, tackle. Tackle right to Phineas. He's used that move as a finisher in the past. Is this it? One, two. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Phineas now goes to the outside. My goodness. Scooby just got Phineas to retreat. We're hearing Joe and Scooby. Scooby's not done. Oh! Suicide splash over the top. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh, what the hell? Where is Scooby getting this from? Holly, what's Scooby do? Splash! There's not enough to win the world title. I can't believe it. One, two. Oh! No, that was not a three. I thought it was for a second. Scooby Doo just became a fraction of a second away from winning the world title finally. What the hell? Oh, Heyman now. Fucking it was again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, splash right to Phineas. Another oh, another one. Woo. No, no. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my goodness. A cover. One, two, three. Did he get him? Did he get him? We know the referee stops the count. Phineas. Phineas had his foot on the rope. That was a rope break. Oh, my goodness. That was an adrenaline rust by Scooby-Doo. He just collapses right now. Heyman, Heyman, Heyman's got that kindle stick. What the hell? And Paul Heyman now distracting the referee. Scooby and Heyman definitely planned this before. Oh, and another referee sees that kindle stick. He's got to get it out of here. This is classic Paul Heyman, and you hate to see it. Oh, it's Sid. Oh, even though the bodyguards are distracted backstage tonight, Sid, Sid showed up. The referee did not see the cheap shot from Sid. One, two, no. Oh, I thought Phineas just had the title robbed from him. I think Phineas will not go down like that. Oh, and he goes to the outside smart. And Phineas did have time to recover, but do not forget that Phineas has been punished this entire match. He made the mistake of taking Scooby-Doo too lightly, and now he's hurt. Now he gets back up somehow. He's trying to hype himself back in. Oh, more, 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 more so is Scooby-Doo. Here comes the splash. Oh! He caught him in midair and suplexed him on the ramp. Scooby landed awkwardly. He might be injured right now. And the kendo stick is here. Oh, he's putting it right on Sid. 
Phineas is done with the distractions. Phineas now wants to beat Scooby-Doo clean. I can tell he wants to put him back in the ring now. Phineas now face buster right to Scooby. He's dazed, seeing stars. Here comes the Phineas poke. Wait, what? Oh, roll up. One, two, whoa. Scooby-Doo with a nice roll up. Oh, Scooby's still hanging in there. He's been training for sure. Oh, double knees in the corner. Scooby now up the top. Here comes the Scooby splash. Phineas out of the way. No water in the pool for Scooby. Phineas pool. That's it. Scooby's not kicking out of this. You know, Phineas not going to go for the cover here. One, two. Oh, what the hell? Heyman stopped the count. Oh, that right there should be a disqualification. I think the ref is going to let this match continue, but he's trying to send Paul Heyman backstage. Get him out of here. Good job by the referee. Oh, Scooby got the kendo stick. Referee's back his turn. Oh, Phineas. Phineas caught him. Scooby's in trouble. Hey. Uh-oh. Oh, the referee turned his back, and now Phineas looks like he was trying to cheat. Well, that was definitely a Paul Heyman move right there. He just framed Phineas. Phineas almost got, almost got himself disqualified. Oh, no. He's busted. Scooby now suplex to Phineas. Champ is down. Scooby now up the top. Heyman's still out here. Is this it? Scooby going to win the title with a Scooby splash. Phineas, boom. The mid -air. That was beautiful to cover. One, two, three. It's over. Here is your winner, and still... The Blue Belt World Champion, Phineas! It looks like Phineas is right. Scooby-Doo was light work. Paul Heyman just failed to get the world title back in his, in his hands. Scooby-Doo just failed to beat Phineas. This has got to feel good for Phineas right now. Two in a row. Phineas just defeated another Paul Heyman guy. And Heyman looks furious. He had a lot of stock invested in Scooby-Doo. Maybe he's getting some buyer's remorse right now on Scooby. He was mad. Scooby, you were supposed to win. Say it out here. The hell? Oh, oh, sends you with the kendo stick. What? What? Oh my goodness, no! Kendo stick right to the back of Scooby Doo. And that was one of Paul Heyman's orders. Here comes Omos, another one of Paul Heyman's bodyguards. What the hell? No, no. Oh, Scooby, you had one job. Finish him! Oh shoot, Finish! Out of the way! It's Whitey! Ah! He's got our announce table! Oh, Heyman is now ordering the giant Omos to pick up Scooby! He's gonna put him through our table! And is Finish just gonna stand there and watch this? But Shaggy! Scooby's best friend Shaggy to the rescue! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, kicks! Just with the sick O and Omos gonna put him through a table! Oh, Scooby, you! It's caught by his best friend Shaggy! Oh, no, Shaggy! You realize you just picked a fight with the giant! Oh, low blow right to the giant! It doesn't matter how big you are, you're going down! Oh! Shaggy just hit a neckbreaker on the Omos! And is he gonna tumble him over the top rope? Right for the Heyman! I mean, if the tag team champions, Evan Anderholm and Jarrell Nelson are here! Oh, my goodness! Slamming down Shaggy right now. Paul Heyman still has Shayna Baszler with the women's title. And the tag titles are still on. Evan and Jarrell. Whitey and Sid back up to their feet. Shaggy tried to defend his friend. But the numbers game caught up to him. Shaggy's going to be the one to go through the table. <laughs> Scooby! Scooby save Shaggy! Scooby! Scooby-Doo is fighting back against the bodyguards. The tag champs are here. And then Shaggy's still out. Oh, I'll kick both to both tag team champions. Shaggy now is now going to put Evan and Jarrell, the tag champs, on the table. All time Phineas has been on the outside just watching this go down with the assist from his old buddy here. Scooby splash through the table, takes out the tag champs. Heyman's men just got beat by Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. And as you know, what's in their future, Heyman's bodyguard still got the, the titles. My goodness, what a force this is. We thank you guys for watching Bad Blood. What a way to end. Scooby-Doo and Shaggy are back together.